Hi again, this is Dr. Joshua Durham with Family Medicine. Today we're going to do a brief discussion about cow chow versus predator chow. Uh, this is generally some information I like to give to my patients. Um, and so I like to talk about ancestral eating. You know, if you were dropped off a couple thousand years ago in the middle of Africa, um, what were you going to be eating, right? I Look at food and nutrition as our genes expect a certain type of nutrition. And if you don't give it the right nutrition, then that's when problems start. Your genes don't care what you want to eat. They expect a certain nutrition. So I usually start off with just explaining to patients, well, if you want to make a cow fat or a dog fat or a pig fat, what do you feed it? And it's usually a combination of grains, in some way. Um, so in the 1930s, 1940s, they were trying to feed pigs coconut oil to fatten them up, but what they found quickly was it actually made the animals lean. Um, and so then they went and they tried to feed them some soybean oil, but it actually made them get too sick, too fast, and too fat, and the animals died. So they came back and they said, all right, let's feed them grains, let's feed them corn, Let's feed them soybeans. And that ended up being the sweet spot to get that animal just fat enough, just marbled enough to where they could turn around and kill it and put it to the market. So what I see happening is when you do that, you are, again, going back and changing that animal's omega-6 to omega-3 ratio. Okay, A grass-fed cow has the... Um, omega-6 to 3 ratio of the polyunsaturated fats of about 3 to 1. When they feed them this way, it increases to about 8 to 1. Okay? So I don't know why everybody doesn't think of this, but if that's what we do, and this is what happens, and it marbles that steak, why don't we realize that eating whole grains, corn oil, and soybean oil are just going to do the same thing to humans. It's really that simple. Our ancestors didn't eat like this. And that's why they had a ratio themselves of two to one. But today, modern humans are sitting somewhere around 20 to one or even higher. So the majority of us are marbled worse than a cow. And so I teach my patients about cow chow. Cow chow is basically the ultra processed sugar, grains, and seed oils. Okay? If you eat cow chow, you end up here. If you eat predator chow, is going to be meat, eggs, dairy, and these animals that you're eating are properly fed, their proper diet, you end up here and you stay lean and healthy. So when you go to sit down to eat, I want you to look at what you're eating and say, is this cow chow or is this predator chow? Okay, because we're all bodybuilders, whether you believe it or not, or whether you like it or not. And what you do every day and what you choose to eat is determining what type of body do you want. And unfortunately, the dietary recommendations in this country are getting us all to here. So, I'd say stick with the Predator Chow. Have a good day.